And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at Sajid Jabbit as he doubles down on whether we should be mandating the jibby jabby to NHS staff. Now as you're probably all, uh, aware, he's already mandated it to care staff that started on the 11th of this month, two days ago. We will look, have a quick look into that in a minute, but this is an article that basically says he's doubled down on it and he could it could see, and this is the telling part for me, 73,000 staff I think that's a smaller number than it actually will be. Quitting. Think the word quitting. Now, this is a mandate, i.e., if you don't get it, you get sacked. So why is he talking quitting? I'll tell you why I think it is. I think it's because he knows he can't sack. Not legally, anyway. Now, we've heard stories that care staff have actually quit. And we've also heard a story from a care home boss who was crying on television. Oh, so sad. After she sacked six staff members over the mandatory policy. Now, she also said, The tears that have been shed are unbelievable. Before breaking down and confessing, we love each other here greatly. Not enough to stand on your morals and tell them, no, you weren't going to sack them for something that shouldn't be mandated. No, nothing like that though, was there? I have no sympathy for this lady whatsoever. I don't feel sorry that she's crying. She's just sacked for people for having my body, my choice. Doesn't seem like they loved each other there greatly too much, does it? I personally, if it was me, I personally would not, would not sack someone for this. No, I wouldn't do it. I'd make the company sack me. And I'll tell you why I would do that. Because there's certain things in place, still in place, laws, rules, regulations, and the likes that restrict sacking for something like this. One of them being your dismissal rights, i.e. constructive dismissal. Now, if you're not too sure what that is, constructive dismissal is when you're forced to leave your job against your will because you're of your employer's conduct. Now, I think the, the bit that gets the closest on that is if they force you to accept unreasonable changes to how you work. For example, tell you to work night shifts when your, your contract is only for day work. And the contract word is the primary word on that. If you are not contracted to be mandated for a jibby jabby, that breaks your contract. And therefore, if they force you out, it would be constructive dismissal. Do not quit everyone. If anyone's listening that's working in the care system or in the NHS system, do not quit, let them sack you because you've got laws to back you up once they do. You've also got the discrimination rights. Are we ready for this one? There are certain t types of discrimination that are protected against in law. One of them being disability, the other one being religion or belief. Not religious belief, religion or belief. So if you don't believe that you should take it, discrimination laws protect you on that. And there's also the European Court of Human Rights. And if you look up Article 8 of the Convention, it gives you the right to respect for private and family life. Now, what does that mean for someone that's being mandated in work? Well, it means that the company should not have the legal right to even ask you if you've been jibby-jabbed, let alone require proof. So you've got dismissal under unfair, constructive dismissal, you've got discrimination that would back you up, and you've got the European Court of Human Rights. All of these are still in place, all of these are still usable. All of these would be perfect to fight your case. If anyone's listening that looks like they're going to be sacked, let them sack you and then sue under these grounds. And I guarantee, and I 100% in my honest opinion believe you'd win on this which is why he's talking about people quitting and not talking about 73,000 sackings please 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 do not let them push you out of your job voluntarily because then you've not got a leg to stand on you you chose to leave I hope you stand strong and for anyone that works in the care system or the NHS system that sack based on this Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And hopefully the six people that she sacked sue her into oblivion and the care home that she works for. But anyway, I'd like to know your opinion. Let me know what you think, everyone. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out. Stay sane. See you on the next one.